Do you believe, as someone who has spent 700,000 miles on the road, do you really have any doubt what the Iranians are up to? I really don't, because I don't think you build nuclear power plants at the bottom of a mountain. And if you really weren't up to no good, why would you be defying the world community's ability to come in and look at what you're doing? And I just think we need to embrace the idea that the Iranians are, in fact, developing nuclear capability, and it should be the policy of the United States not to let that happen. So from a personal point of view, um, do you think they're trying to develop nuclear capability uh, for weapon purposes? Well, Senator, I'm here as the Secretary of State and uh, answer on behalf of the administration. Uh, I think the intelligence community's position has been quite clear. Uh, but I do think, having lived as long as I've lived, people sometimes say and do things that are at variance with what uh, uh, one might expect. Uh, it still is uh, quite bewildering to me why Saddam Hussein wanted everybody to believe that he had uh, chemical, biological, and even nuclear uh, weapons of mass destruction when uh, apparently he did not. At One that last point question. If we, err, if we err in judging Iran, don't you think we should err on the side of making sure they don't develop nuclear capability and the tie goes to us, not them, giving the behavior of the regime, giving the rhetoric of the president, giving all their actions, that it would be a prudent thing for the United States and the world to assume the worst about Iran, not the best? I think that there is a very clear-eyed view of Iran and Iranian uh, objectives, and that's why the President's policy is so clear and adamant that uh, the United States uh, intends to prevent Iran from obtaining a nuclear weapon. Thank you.